SQL is a great language for extracting data and aggregating it and basically scanning large amounts of data when you tell with SQL in a more like decorative way what you need to get. However, there are times when what you need to get is simple to say but complex to To say in the SQL language. For example, if you need to transpose a table or to pivot the resulting data, which usually you need to do while you're creating a report, then there are some SQL dialects that would allow you to do that very easily, for example, using the pivot keyword. However, if your database does not support the pivot keyword and other keywords which would assist you, then it just becomes more complex and tricky until you get how to do it. Until you get how to do it and then it becomes more simpler because you get the trick behind it. Let's say... You have made your uh, selected statement and even grouped by some data. However, now you need to have the report. Um, for example, in, S- in uh, Excel, you can create a pivot table. And then if you drag, let's say, the, uh, if you have a column of weeks for each row which tells the which week or which month this data is from, and you want the weeks and the month, basically the aggregation, to be on the columns. So you want, let's say, column one to be week one, column two, week two, column three, week three, and so forth. However, as you extracted the data, you don't have these columns. How would you have these columns at all? You don't have inside the data anything that matches week one, week two, week three. So when you do the group by, you did first group by by week. However, when you do group by by week, then the weeks are now grouped and uh, you have row one, week one, row two, week two, and row three, week three, and so on because... You made the group by by weeks, but now you want the weeks to be on the columns because you want each of the data let's say you want to have the revenue on row one and then you have you want to have the average salary on row two and then you have the average salary by department on row three and you want to compare them so you want the columns to be of the columns week one, week two, week three. So how do you do this transposition in between the rows and the columns or pivoting? Because if you have Excel, then it's very simple. You drag the different rows and columns into the pivot table. You have in the pivot table in Excel, you have a section named columns. So each, um, each header that you drag to there is now becoming a column. So this is just great. But in SQL, how do you do this? So there are a few stages. And actually, the, I made some research on it all over the internet, how people suggest to have it. And I must say that the website, Modern SQL, did an amazing job on explaining it, where no one, no one in YouTube, in whatever... made a good job in explaining this, only the website Modern SQL did a terrific job for explaining it. So the tools in order to do this transposition in SQL are a few. We need to use the union keyword in order to unify different results. And we need to use the case statement, case when or filter if exists. If you don't have the filter, then you just use the case keyword. And we need to remove some group eyes because if you already had a group eye by week, then this means you have multiple rows and each row denotes a week. So in step number one, 
we are going to remove the wicks from the rows. And how do we do this? We go to the SQL statement and remove the wicks from the rows. Now, we just remove the go by. Go by by week. So if you had go by by year or the dates, then this is enough. But if you want the weeks to appear on the top as the columns, then you remove the uh, go by by week from the row. So now that we have removed it, you want basically to be left with one uh, row that would not include the go by by week. The next step is to create the different columns. So we didn't have these columns of week one, week two, week three. We want to create it after of the data. And for that, we use the select case. So you do select case when um, extract week from the data is week number one. Then take the revenue value and this would be a column named week one and then you want to do select case when week is two then take the data okay so basically you get the id what we did is in step one we removed the group by by week once we removed it we are now ready to construct a new sql which would have the columns as the rows. And in order to move rows to columns, we use the case statement in SQL. Step one, remove the grouping for the columns that we want. So if we had group by week, we remove it because we want the weeks to appear in the columns, not in the rows. If you have group by week, you would have rows as weeks. So you remove this group by and then you need to add new columns for each week. In order to add a new column for each week, you use the case statement. Because with the case, you can then do a filter, choose which value to get, and then give the column a name. So the case allows you to build new columns. So we remove rows, and we are building new columns with the case statement. And now that we have removed rows and we have built new columns with the grouping that we wanted with the select statements, now we want the different values on different rows. For example, we want the revenue and the max salary and the number of employees. We want all these to appear in different rows. And how do we do this? Now that we need different rows, we use different select statements and unify them with unify all. So the three steps are this, to repeat on how to transpose an uh, SQL result. First, remove the grouping for the row keys that you want to move to the columns, because if you want to remove this row by then these go by row keys would appear as rows, but you wanted them as columns. So now that we have removed them from the rows, in step two, we want to add them as columns. In order to add new columns into the result of SQL, we used the case statement, which allows us to add new columns. And now in step three, we have removed the rows of the grouping, we have added new columns, but now we want new rows for each data point. For example, you want new row for salary for all of the weeks in the columns, and you want a row for the employees for all of the weeks. And how do you do this? You do multiple select statements, and you unify them all with unify all. So the three steps were, first, remove the grouping from the rows, Second step, use the case statement to add new columns. And third step, use the unify command, unify SQL command in order to create multiple rows. So we have manually removed rows, added columns, and then added the new rows. It's like doing the whole thing manually. And for each such step, removing rows, step two, add columns, step three, add rows, we use different SQL 
variants. We remove grouping, we add columns with case, and then we use the unify all to add new rows. So this was how to transpose or how to pivot data as a result of SQL without using the keyword pivot because it does not exist in all the databases. Usually this is done in reporting context because in reporting context, you need to group things by weeks in columns and you want to view the change week over week or month over month. And these are the cases where you need to do this transposition. So I hope this was interesting and see you next time.